Hi guys, welcome to my channel. Today's video is about Sydney because I live here and I really love this city. My expectations about Sydney before arriving here were neutral. I knew it was a great city in the top 10 of best cities in the world to live in, but I still came with an open mind. After being in the Australian Outback for three months, arriving in Sydney felt so good. I really needed that back to civilization feeling very much. Sydney, with all the great beaches, views, amazing food, beautiful venues, and the lifestyle immediately fascinated me. I now work for a tech company in Sydney, and I couldn't wish for a better lifestyle really. Sydney offers everything like any other world city would, and even more, like the benefit of having beautiful beaches and national parks on your doorstep. I know Sydney's reputation has been severely damaged due to the high costs of living, and the bad traffic, and also for being too busy, and of course the crazy expensive houses. But let's look at this city from the point of view of a foreigner like me, who just wants to get the best out of it and, you know, have fun, enjoy the lifestyle here before I get too old. In Sydney, you can rent amazing apartments with outstanding views, and you can really have that beach lifestyle that you always wanted. It just feels like you're always on a holiday. For me, one of the things that I love here is the fact that you literally have four or five cities in one. You have the CBD, which is where all the most important companies and all the tall skyscrapers are. It's also where you'll find the Opera House and the beautiful Harbour Bridge. Then you have the eastern suburbs, the most popular being Bondi, where Bondi Beach is located, of course, and it attracts a lot of tourists due to the famous TV show, Bondi Rescue, where apparently everyone drowns and gets stung by a jellyfish. But trust me, that doesn't happen that often here. Then, for a more European feel and lifestyle, you can pick Darlinghurst and Potts Point. On the more hipster front, as well as for great nightlife and amazing restaurants, you've got the beautiful area of Newtown. And if you're most of all a beach goer or a surfer, the northern beaches are the perfect for you. Because, you know, in my opinion, they have beautiful and very long beaches that, you know, there's, there's room for everyone over there, basically. But there are many, many more amazing neighborhoods with their unique vibes, so it's always better to come before renting anything and just explore the city to pick your favorite spot. The cost of living, as you can imagine, varies massively depending on the area you choose to live. Bondi and the eastern suburbs in general are considered to be one of the most expensive but there is something for everyone here to match what they can afford, basically. Also, if you're willing to share a house, which most people do when they first move here, you know, to start making new friends, for example, or to not feel so lonely, your costs with rent will be slashed in more than half. Grocery shopping is reasonable. I never heard of anyone struggling to afford food. And when eating out, there are also plenty of delicious options for $10 or even less. There are even some takeaways that sell ready-made meals for around $6, I've seen one for five dollars, you know, it really depends. But you will find a lot of cheap deals in this city. In terms of bars and clubs, you've got everything you can imagine, ranging from something really hipster and affordable to something very luxurious with stunning views. I would say that the salaries here can provide you with a comfortable lifestyle, even if you're on a minimum wage. However, on a minimum wage, do not expect to rent your own apartment, let alone in the hot areas like Bondi or King's Cross. If you want to make ends meet and hopefully save and enjoy this country, you must share a house and sometimes a room, depending on the area you pick. On a sunny day of summer, Sydney is really that dreamy city that you, the beach lover, always wanted to experience. The surfers, the swimmers, the outdoor boot camps and the personal trainers everywhere, all these things happening around you with the beautiful scenery, they will make you crave exercising and getting fit. I live in Bondi and it really does feel like you're on a holiday during most of the year. But you don't have to live in Bondi for that. You can live in Coogee, Maroubra, Bronte, and also in the northern beaches, which is where the beautiful town of Manly is located. And by the way, the journey to Manly from the city by ferry is one of the most spectacular things you can do in Sydney. This is the daily commute of many people living in Manly and working in the CBD. I never ever get tired of this 20 minutes boat ride. It's just stunning. Mm -hmm. 
Sydney is fairly easy to get around by public transport. The train network is vast and so is the bus. The bus can cost you between two and six dollars and the train goes from three to six dollars depending on the kilometers you travel. As of the time when recording this video, the unemployment rate in Greater Sydney wasn't as low as it was before the pandemic, but the economy remains stable and it is expected to recover quickly in 2022. There are definitely more jobs in cafes, restaurants and bars during the summer months. If that's the type of work you are looking for, bear that in mind. In terms of specialized work, for you to get a better idea, you can check sick.com.au or indeed.com. Now, specialized and qualified work almost always pays really well here. And I'm not talking only about jobs requiring a university degree, for example. I mean, the construction sector, for example, is known for paying really good money. It's also not all about the beaches in this city. The city has a lot to offer in terms of culture, museums, architecture, art, and its own history, obviously. It's common to hear foreigners here criticizing the lack of history, but I find it really unfair on this city. I mean, what did you expect to see in Sydney? The Colosseum of Sydney? Come on, if you want that kind of history, go to Europe. Sydney has its own history like any place. Just look at the beautiful architecture and plenty of attractions that you can find here. It's just beautiful. If you choose Sydney to live in Australia, that also means you'll have many amazing places to visit for short breaks or day trips. Some of the most popular locations are Jarvis Bay, famous for its turquoise blue waters and marine life. You also got the Blue Mountains, famous for its stunning views and beautiful tall waterfalls. And Port Stephens, for example, for the sand dunes that makes it look like you're in the Sahara Desert, just to name a few. I really feel like Sydney was the right choice for me when I got to Australia and it made my life more exciting and positive. I have no doubts I have chosen the best city in Australia to live in that matches my wants and needs, but it may not be the best city for you and it may not give you what you are looking for in Australia. What do you think? Is Sydney the city for you? Let me know in the comments and stay tuned. See you next time. I hope you enjoyed this video, thank you for watching and like and subscribe for more.